All right, guys, how's it going? Today we're wiring up the split second AIC1. Uh, we just put in the port injection, as we can see. It's in there somewhere. Um, so pretty basic. I haven't really seen too many videos on this, but they show, they do send some instructions, which are pretty basic to follow. But I haven't seen any videos on how to do it. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it real quick. Uh, so this black wire right here is ground. It's gonna go to this pin right here um take off this connector the way you take off this connector is just pull this pull this out same thing with this one you pull this one out that way it just slides um but anyway it says pin six and if you look on the back of this you can actually see the numbers so pin six would be that one right there it says a brown wire but all these are brown so i don't know what's up with that but it would be this one right here pin number six for the black so this black one it's gonna go here spliced in there and then uh we're gonna go one by one then to the red yellow green and all that stuff all right here is the first connection yes i'm using buck connectors i'm not soldering it um oh well buck connector it is you know i'm gonna put some heat shrink over it which is this make sure to put that before you put everything else on so next one up on the instructions is the red wire on the same connector but for pin uh, two, so it'd be pin two, you can see number two right there. It's gonna be an orange one. So opposite of the one, this is the ground one connected. Opposite right here on the other side, the orange one, which is that one right there, that one. So same thing, wired up to the red one. All right, so my power is connected. Here it is right there, connected, taps into that. Except for me, I have a switch, which is why I did it like that. This, I tapped into it because um, I have like three maps. One of them is regular 91. The other one is E40 and the other one is going to be port injection E60. So whenever I want to run the E60, I come over here, flip the switch, get the port injection activated. And then whenever, whenever I want to run the 91 tune, I come over here, flip it off and flash the 91 tune. So this is what I'm doing for my instance, but let's say for example, if you're always gonna stay on E60, E50 with port injection, then you can do that and just straight up wire it. But I have a switch here for that reason. All right, if you follow the instructions, it says the next put in the green one, but I'm gonna do the yellow one just because it's on the same connector. And then that way we can uh, put this connector back and then do the last one, the green one, which is on the last connector. But for this yellow and black one, uh, you're gonna have to pull this uh, terminal the top one or here the gray one to the side like this as you can see it slides out the way you do that is by pushing down a little pin in there and then pushing it that way as you can see it comes out and then we need pin 21 a black one which it's kind of hard to see but 26 is the orange one 25 24 23 22 21 right next to the green one is the black one we need I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up, but next to this green one is the black one we need. I'm going to chase it down a little bit further, which is right here. That way it's not so um, so cramped up in here. And then we can just put this thing back because now we found the wire. There we go. It's back into its place. And here's that clip I said. See this little tab right there? That little tab right there, you pull it a little bit and you push this thing out. Slide it out actually. Now I'm going to tap in this uh, yellow wire into that black wire. I stripped a little bit right here. You could solder it, uh, but I'm going to tap it in there. And then last but not least will be the green one. All right, so the last one is going to be on the last connector on the left side. And then it's going to be pin 10 on the top black one. So pin 10 would be right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right here. It's going to be a yellow one. So look in here you can count all the empty even the empty pins even the empty holes you counters so go one two three four five six seven eight nine and number ten is going to be this yellow this yellow one right here right here this is our go-to and just like that we put this last last connector in here put it in its place you know know your place there we go clicks on and everything is good. 
So, this thing is basically wired up now. We can tuck it in here. But I am have to get it. I am have to flash it. So I'm have to get the laptop right now and verify this thing is on as well. All right, guys. So took off the cover. We connected this cable. Now you have to buy separate. Doesn't come with the thing. I got it off of Amazon for a little bit cheaper. Um, connect it to your laptop. You'll need. You will need a laptop. Can't be a MacBook. It has to be a Windows computer. Get your USB cable. It can't go into a USB 3.0. It has to go into a 2.0, like a regular one like this. Then open up Device Manager on the search bar, and go down to your ports right here. We're gonna plug it in. Once you plug this in, should update right here. That's our thing. Prolific COM5. Remember that COM5. All right, so now you open up your software, which is the split second, or load up. This is what you end up with. And then you open up your tune sent to you by your tuner open customer let's say for example that's what you do open customer we go desktop i saved it to my desktop somewhere and it should be Menjikar. here it is this is the tune my tuner sent me uh, i just downloaded it from an email he sent me so we open that and then uh, i guess that's the name 750 cc we go on the com that we saw we saw that mine was com5 click on that and then we click on this connect to ecu and just like that we're connected so once that is loaded up we go right here to maps fuel maps go to the top left right here where it says write data to ecu because obviously we want to write it this will overwrite the ecu data yes and it'll start writing the data onto the ecu which is what we want because this is what my tuner sent me this is the file he sent me so we want to write that onto that and now we just wait patiently but we wait so as you can see it is done and you can close this out and then here we are back to this and now we can just go file and close customer once you're done you're basically done at that point and then your tuner is either gonna you know revise it send you a new one you're gonna download it mine's right here i download it again you would go right here to file Oh, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. So you would go file, close customer. And you would start off like this again. So you would go file, open customer. And then that's when you just open up the file that your tuner sends you, which mine is right here again. There it is. He named it 750cc. You connect to your com, which is minus five. Make sure to verify what yours is. Connect to ECU. We go to maps, fuel maps, because that's what this was sent for and we click write data to ecu and we're gonna do it again just because make sure ignition is on and everything um but this is gonna write it and you just keep repeating uh the process depending on how good your tuner is or how crazy you guys gotta adjust everything but this is it once you're done with everything you can you know unplug it and you're done good to go but at least for me i still need to go to the gas station pumps the e60 into this thing so I'm a, once it's done flashing, you know, I'm going to turn it off right here with the toggle switch. That way there's no more power going to this um, AIC. And then that way, once I do get to the gas station, pump the E60 in there and flash the tune on MHD, I can come over here, flip the switch and have the PI activated as well. And we're done here. So like I said, close it out. Go here. We could disconnect from ECU, done, file, close customer, and we're pretty much done. That's it. You can disconnect everything, disconnect it, and you're basically flash your, your little um, port injection. Now you just put the screws back on, cover it up, make sure nothing gets in there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how we wired that thing up and how we set it up. So hope you guys liked the video. Hope it helped you guys out. And thanks for watching.